Now, just when I, in my second year, when I actually have finished already my thesis, IBM decided that they want to have a full-fledged research department. So they sent somebody to Princeton to locate promising young men, at the time it was men, young persons, to hire as researchers at IBM. And it started with a summer job at IBM. Dana Scott came already at that time from Berkeley, where he was a student of Tarski, but somehow fell out with Tarski, so he transferred to Princeton to work with Church. With Alonzo Church. And we were friendly, Dana Scott and I. So we both went in 1957 to Princeton, to IBM. Or IBM, and the location was the so-called Lamb Estate, a wonderful collection, while the Princeton Laboratory, designed by Saarinen, the Watson Laboratory was in the stages of construction. The Lamp Estate very appropriately used to be before that an insane asylum. All those buildings were buildings where cooks were housed before we researchers came. By the way, we went into the department of information theory. So I came to the Lamb Estate, and then Scott and I joined the Department of Informatics. The people there in informatics at IBM were mostly people in information theory along the lines of Shannon. Of Shannon. And that was under the influence of the book by Norbert Wiener Informatics. And at the time there was the mistaken assumption or theory that computing is sort of part of Shannon theory, of Shannon information theory. We were actually, Scott and I, were actually sort of uh, an exception there. And we had to decide what we want to work on. And we decided we want to work on a limited form of Turing machine. Turing machine where nothing is being written on the tape. So we had the model of what are called finite automata. And then we decided as pure exercises of the imagination to consider all possible variations. One of those variations was non-deterministic automata. That led to the theorem that by use of the subset construction, non-deterministic automata are equivalent in their computing power leaving out the complexity aspect, are equivalent to ordinary automata. But, but in our work on decision, the paper eventually was called Final Automata. And their decision and problems. Decision problems. We paid close attention to decision problems and to their computational costs. Mm -hmm. We didn't have the best possible results, those came later on, were due to Hopcroft. Hopcroft mm -hmm. had the best results, but we had pretty good results. Then we also considered, I said, let's consider 
two-way final to Somatab where the healing head goes back and Both forth. ways. And I proved in a very complicated way that these are also equivalent to ordinary automata. So we also consider two tape automata, uh, various variations of the finite automata uh, as, uh, theme. Now, we wrote first of all a technical report, of course, but within two years also the paper appeared which for a while was, for a while, was maybe the best quoted paper in what later on became computer science.